Hi, I'm Jerry Romine, the Entrepreneur Abroad, and in this video, we're going to cover the top five stocks you should consider buying right now. And you should be happy to know that I've already bought these hot stocks this week. My channel is a little different than most because during the week, I show you the stocks that I'm looking to buy and the reasons why. And then on the weekend, I put my money where my mouth is and show you the actual stocks that I bought as a result of that research. If you're interested in learning how to invest based on the fundamentals and understanding why you're actually making the investments, then you found the right channel. There's no hype here and I encourage you to read the comments on any of my YouTube videos to see what people are actually doing because a lot of people are making money from my channel. As an experiment, if you've made money because of my videos, please pause the video right now and post a comment below and share as much as you're comfortable with. I'm really looking forward to reading all of these comments. Today's video is going to be a quick recap of the stocks I've bought this week and why. And in the description, there's going to be a link to the more detailed video so you can check that out for yourself. Of course, I'm not a financial advisor and this video is for entertainment purposes only. So grab a cup of coffee and join me because this is not your normal stock channel. The first stock I bought this week is National Health Investors. NHI is a stock I analyzed two weeks ago and is an example of liking a stock and waiting for the trade to come to you. Once I identify a stock I want to buy, I add it to my watch list and then an alert notifies me when the stock meets certain buy criteria. Once that criteria is met, I look at the technicals then decide if I want to buy the stock. The 6.7 dividend yield is nice, but this stock has a lot more going for it. It has a PE ratio of 15.7, a net income margin of 57%, Levered free cash flow, 69%. Operating margin, 69%. A tattle ratio, 1.9. The peg ratio is undervalued at 0.88, and I was able to buy this well below the intrinsic value. The play is long, my cost basis is $61.05, and the risk is low. Hopefully you appreciate my transparency on these trades, and this lets you follow along. Just don't expect every trade to be a winner. The stock market doesn't work that way. The link to the full fundamental analysis video is in the description below. The second stock I bought this week is ticker MTB. M&T Bank is a stock that I covered in April, and if you look at the charts, you can see how important it is to wait for the right trade. MTB was trading around 102, then dropped, and once it came back and had a good buy signal, I was able to buy it. I view bank stocks as an undervalued opportunity if the economy continues to come back strong. But if the economy tanks, I think banks are a high risk because of the increase in loan defaults. The nice thing about MTB is you can still buy it at a 30% discount from its pre-crisis price. It's got a PE of a very low 9.65. The net income margin is impressive at 30.12%. The return on equity is 16.74%. It has a dividend yield of 3.6%. The operating margin is 41.7%. And I was able to buy this well below the intrinsic value. I consider this to be a medium or high risk play because we don't know what direction the economy is going to go. My play on this is long term and my cost basis is $113.93. The third stock I bought is ticker MSFT and Microsoft has nice support at 182 and when it popped a buy signal I took a position. The PE ratio is 30.68, the net income margin is 33.36%, the return on equity is 16.23%, the operating margin is 37.5%, the beta ratio is 0.8 which is very low and the peg ratio is undervalued at 0.92. The risk on this is low, the play is long and my cost base is 184.98. The fourth stock I bought this week is STOR. Store Capital is a REIT and was one of the biggest winners this week being up 34%. The stronger than expected jobs report helped this stock because they are heavily invested in restaurants, movie theaters, daycare centers, fitness centers, and family entertainment centers, all of which benefit by the economy getting back on track. The PE ratio is 20.17. The net income margin is 44.56%. The levered free cash flow is an impressive 70.17%. The dividend yield is nice at 5.56%. The operating margin is 58.6%. The tattle ratio is two, and I was able to buy this below the intrinsic value, plus the peg ratio is undervalued at 0.71. The risk on this is low, my play is long, and the cost basis is 21.21. The fifth stock I brought this week is Qualcomm, ticker QCOM, and Rosenblatt initiated Qualcomm as a buy yesterday, and I've been watching this stock since April 29th and just bought it on June 2nd. Here's what Rosenblatt had to say. We are launching coverage on Qcom with a buy rating of $105 and a 12-month target price. Qualcomm will not only benefit from the 5G handset upgrade, but will also lead the market in establishing 5G capabilities worldwide. We expect that Qualcomm's dollar content per handset to increase 25% to 50% compared with 4G handsets. Important, in our view, 
Qualcomm's 5G platform strategy and expanding the company's markets beyond handsets. I hope Rosenblatt is right because the beast mode stock analysis has a more conservative estimate for their value, which just means bigger profits for me if they're correct. The PE ratio is 24.61. The net income margin is 16.36%. The levered free cash flow is 28.82%. The return on invested capital is 30.87%. The operating margin is 33.5%. I was able to buy this below the intrinsic value and the peg ratio is very undervalued at just 0.28. The risk on this is low, the play is long term, and my cost basis is $81.39. If you want the detailed analysis video on any of these stocks, they're in the description below. I hope that you really enjoyed today's short video. And if my videos have helped you make money, please be sure to post a comment below to let me know. Thanks for hanging out with me today and I'll see you soon on a fresh new video. If you have not already, make sure you sign up for Webull to get a free stock worth up to $1,400. Webull is much more than a free stock trading app, and I have a free tutorial video on Webull that's so good, Webull actually called me after viewing it. Both the promo and Webull tutorial link are in the description below.